what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we are doing a gum chewing ramble video and we're chewing on dentine ice sub-zero iceberg mint um the day is saturday it's about 11 30 right now where i'm at i just got done watching the last ufc fight uh, the john jones fight and it was um watching it off a random stream that I found a link to and um, I totally like fucked right up I was pissed off because it was like right before the fight was gonna start but then mom and I found um, something on pal chat or something like that I don't know what the website she uses and we were actually able to watch the fight so um, yeah it was a good fight um, I went five rounds. I felt like, what's the other guy's name, Reyes. I felt like um, he was a little closer to winning that fight than Jones. I know Jones dominated that fourth and fifth round, but when you're a champ, I feel like the judges are going to give you the fight if it's close enough, right? Um, they might do a rematch, I don't know. I think Buddy, if he just works on his cardio, if he could have took fourth or fifth round, then he would have won that fight, but John's, just, John's the champ for a reason. Like, he knew how to stay calm like all all the rounds that he would have energy right um i think reyes overdid it the first second and third to try to prove a point um i think that was his first time doing a championship fight anyway so now he'll, he'll go back to the drum board he'll learn his lesson um but man he was still dangerous those fourth and fifth rounds like he was still throwing hard shots um really good takedown defense um and yeah, just a real tough dude, man. Oh, dang in there and fucking bang with Jones for five five rounds. Yeah, that definitely um, shows uh, how tough you are. He'll definitely um, he'll make a fire in the division for sure. Oh, yeah, we, me and mom actually went to Boston Pizza first because we're going to go watch there right after work. We got off at 10 and then the fight started or was just about to start so we went there and Boston Pizza is usually pretty um usually pretty dead but it was fucking packed man like we went in there and we're just standing there and everybody's like sitting down I didn't want to stand there throughout the whole fight so I was like let's just go let's go check out this other bar um the other place I know was always wild so um if it's that crazy at Boston Pizza that's gonna be like three that at the other bar because Boston Pizza is really a bar they have like the sports bar but um, it's mostly like people eating and stuff like that um, at the other place it's just a bunch of wild animals drinking so we were driving there and then we decided not to go because there's a bunch of wild animals there um, yeah so I had the link was working that I originally was using for the fight like I just seen somebody on Facebook asking if they, anyone had a link to the fight and um, somebody posted a link and it was working good up until the main event and then it fucked right up so um, mom goes on this pal chat thing I don't know what it is but somebody was live streaming the fight so we just watched it on that it was really small so yeah I don't know I don't really care just as long as I can see it. Um, but yeah, I didn't do much today. Just work and then I'll wait for the fights. That was pretty much it. Tomorrow I got one more day. And then I got Monday off, which is nice. So I'll figure out something to do. Film a few videos and whatnot. I think I might do a one hour gum chewing ramble. I just don't know if I'm going to put it on this channel or my main channel I think I might put it on this I don't know I could film two one hour I really want to do another one hour come chewing ramble though this channel is almost at a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited about that um yeah that's freaking crazy like I just started this channel people like my come chewing rambles that's dope so actually yeah, I'll probably put the one hour come chewing ramble on this channel um, I have Monday off and it's in the daytime so it's kind of noisy outside I'll have to try to find a spot where I can do it that's quiet um, oh yeah, I wanted to say this in my 
exciting thing that's happened to me in the last couple days was that phone call um oh actually i'm lying i am going back home i decided i'm flying back home i already bought the ticket i already talked to my boss the dates are set um and yeah i'm freaking excited man uh, i just wish it would hurry up i should have made the dates a little sooner i'm going mid march I'll be gone for a week, so I'll be filming some stuff, which will be pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna land Saturday. And, yeah. Probably just freaking head straight to the bars, to be honest with you. St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so people are gonna be drinking. Like, I wanna go down and just, like, have a couple beer on Saturday when I land. Ain't even gonna tell nobody I'm down there. I'm just gonna show up. Maybe I'll see some, pa um, some faces. Maybe I won't, but... That's the plan, just go down, um, Sunday recover, Monday I'm gonna go see my grandmother, and then after that, I'll just do some training, maybe some drinking, maybe some drinking, maybe some training, I don't know, I'm gonna do some eating, I know there's a few restaurants down there that, um, uh, are new that I wanna check out, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited, I can't wait. sister with her fucking big mouth. I already told her friend and I guarantee your friend already told everybody else. Like, fuck man, my sister's so stupid. Like, you can't tell her anything because she just blabs to everybody and it doesn't make any sense. Like, she has nothing to talk about so she just talks about shit that she's heard from other people. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I already had a couple people message me out of the blue and say, hey, what's up? It's like, I haven't talked to these people in so long. Why are they messaging me? Oh, I wonder why because they found out I'm going down. It's not like I'm not going to message them when I get up down there. It's just now they're going to expect me to go hang out with them. And, like, most of the time they expect me to fucking buy drinks and stuff. So, yeah. They always expect me to buy drinks. I'm the one. So, yeah, you know, my oldest sister, she's the worst for that. She fucking everybody everything and it's like the most annoying thing in the world it's like when you can't trust your own freaking sister um, like she's told some big big 
secrets, like when we were younger. And it's like, are you serious? And then she tries to lie her way out of it. She's like, it wasn't me. And it's like, oh my gosh. I remember one time we found a freaking, we found actual messages of her telling, like, things that she's not supposed to say from her MSN to somebody else. We found it in her actual messages. And her excuse was, oh, somebody must have hacked into my account and done that. It's like, are you fucking serious? That is like the worst shit ever. You're such a bullshitter. Such a fucking liar. But yeah, I'm hoping not too many people find out. I just want like a few people to know. And then when I'm down there, and then I'll just do whatever. But I don't want people to be expecting things when I go down there. I don't want them thinking, oh, he's coming down here, so he's buying drinks. Oh, he's coming down here, so he's going to be doing that. I want it to be on my terms, because I'm only going down for seven days, and that's not a lot of time, and I already have, like, a bunch of things planned I gotta do, like, I have to see my grandmother, that's one of the biggest things, which means I have to rent a car, I have to drive to where she is, which is an hour away, um, and I'll be going down with one of her best friends, which is her old landlord, so I don't know how long he's gonna want to stay, and it's in, where she's at is in a town where, like, I grew up, or, like, my family, my mom grew up, I guess, but, like, I have a lot of family there, so people might want to see me, I don't know, um, I guess we could just drive around and just go check out some spots, oh, I just can't wait to get tomorrow over and done with, um, get Monday off, I'm definitely gonna film a one hour ramble, though, I've got to. I like doing them. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably do some thrift shopping too. I might even go in town. Like it's been pretty nice. The weather. So, um, yeah, the highways aren't bad at all. So I'll go in town, do that. I gotta go fucking get groceries for my sister tomorrow. I've been putting it off. I was supposed to do it yesterday. And I said I'd do it today, and then I fell asleep after work. And then, um, I woke up and it was too late, so I had to go to work. Like, I have, like, a few hours in between my jobs. And, um, I was supposed to get her groceries, but I fell asleep, so. And I was like, can you wait one more day? And she's like, yeah, I guess I could starve. No. She has food, she just always runs out of, like, chocolate milk and milk. It's like all she feeds her kids is fucking chocolate milk. I'm constantly buying chocolate milk. Four, like the big four liter jug things. I don't really drink a lot of milk. Canned milk. I put it in my coffee. Fuck, mom used to. Ew, mix canned milk and water with cereal. That's how fucking broke we were. Canned milk and water, that is disgusting. I still taste it now. Gross. I thought it was normal. I go to people's houses, spend the night, fucking start cracking open a can of milk. They're like, what are you doing, you sick fuck? I'm kidding. But I did think it was normal for the longest time. It's not normal, guys. Oh, I mean, if you're broke, it is. Just put some water in that bitch. Same joke, they're like, oh, you're just gonna have to shut the lights off with me in here, and it's like, 
Empty liquor bottles, which is insane to me. Like this is a car wash. People are emptying out their cars in their 